Hello, this is Ujwal and welcome to another video on my YouTube channel. Today I am doing a craft haul of all the things that I bought in the month of May. And I bought quite a few of things, so let's get started. The first uh, store that I shopped from is Amazon.in and there were some de great deals and discounts going on. So the first thing that I bought is this um, self-healing cutting mat the one that i had uh, was a2 size um, it was very sorry a3 size it was a bit small for me and it become really really dirty over the period of time so i had to replace it and i got this one that's the brand called nco and this is a3 size sorry a2 size it's a big one it fits uh, onto my table really well and it has size uh, details and markings onto the board and then it is double sided so I can use uh, both the front and the back side which is great so in case one side is dirty I can flip it over and shoot my videos on the other side. The next thing that I bought is this uh, tripod. Uh, this is a uh, for, from a brand called Benro, it's made in China but uh, the reviews were really great on Amazon and the price point was really great um, but do not buy this if you plan on using it outdoors it might not be able to take the wind and uh, it might not even be able to take a lot of weight of the camera uh, but I use a smaller camera I do not use a DSLR and I use the tripod my usage is mostly indoors so I thought this would be a great fit and again it has all the features uh, it is a four section tripod so you can increase and decrease the length the, the height of it it has a three-way pan handle so you can remove it it has the water level and you know all the things that are the quick shoe and stuff like that so all the um, basic things that need to be a part of tripod are there the only thing is that it is not as sturdy or as strong as a maybe a Manfrotto tripod. So if you're looking for something sturdier or if you are willing to uh, invest in this, you can go ahead and uh, go for a Manfrotto one. But I think uh, for me, this works just fine. Uh, it was hardly for uh, 1,500 or 2,000 uh, bucks and I think it will serve the purpose. So the next thing I, that I bought are a whole lot of watercolor papers. So these are all 6 by 8 in sizes and a pack of 20. So I have the Bustro which had this offer of 30% extra. So I got a lot of sheets at a good price point. And um, the Bustro papers are a little bit different than the normal cancer ones that I use. So I just wanted to give these a try. These are more textured and... Uh, I want to see how it would be or how it would look on cards. So then I bought a whole bunch of the canvas Montwell watercolor papers. So you can see I was just trying to show the difference of texture there. But um, yeah, so I got so many of these because I had some commissioned orders for watercolor cards. Um, and then I got these Bristol ones. These are... Um, these are what not watercolor papers but mo mostly for sketches these are i think 180 gsm and i got these because they're great for printing out stuff so in case i need to print out something print out sentiments or something uh these work really well so i just wanted to try these out as well and yeah so they are not for watercoloring or anything but they'll be good for doodling or sketching and things like that the next thing I bought are these, uh, again these are from Canson and these are um, sketch papers. This is again I think 180 GSM and um, these have this little vanilla feel to it which I really like. So that is the only reason I get them. I love that vanilla color, the off-white vanilla color and I got a bunch of these and again these are great for printing um or sketching or just uh, using as matting sheets um, matting uh, in your cards or scrapbooks and things like that another thing i got from amazon are these plastic sectional boxes now what is great about these boxes is that the dividers are removable so you can just remove the divider if you don't need it or put it back when you need it and i think these are great for storing my sponge dabbers and my blending tool and this is the one from paper issues and i just keep the extra blending foams as well in it so it is just one compact box where i keep all of the 
sponge daubers and blending tools and blending sponges and extra sponges and everything so this is great and a very compact and good storage for uh, the blending tools so the next place I shop from is craftzone.in and again they had some fabulous discounts on papers about 20% off so I bought a bunch of these so the first thing I bought is this Prima 6x6 paintables and although it looks blank it has embossed images you can see the shine a little bit there so you can when you watercolor you can actually see those images come out and it has some printed sheets and then the same in embossing so I thought this was really unique and really cool and I wanted to give it a try and make it work so I'm a watercolor enthusiastic as you all know so this was really tempting for me and this is from Tales of You and Me collection I think and I, I hope you can see that little embossing there going on so this is really really fabulous the next thing I got is this um, French Rivera Prima collection again in A4 size and this has all the nautical kind of themes so it has the ships and the maps and fishes and underwater scenes and stuff like that and again it's really pretty very vintagey and um, I'm very excited to use this in my projects you can see there are some florals really really gorgeous papers the next paper pack that I got is this rose quartz collection from Prima and the it's a combination the color scheme is the black and grays and pinks and it is just absolutely stunning I can't get over this collection it's so dreamy look at that feather page I mean what else do you need it's just absolutely mind-blowing and I can't wait to create an album or something I think black and white photographs would look just simply amazing on these papers so I can't make to create some layouts and albums with these and there are journaling sheets also included in this and the paper collection is a mix of roses and just it's just beautiful I can't get over this collection the next one I got is called love clippings and again it's a love theme romantic collection and it has the sticker sheets as well in the back and the journaling cards are there and it's again it's very beautiful very romantic feel to it and it's a combination of the reds and pinks and greens and again a beautiful beautiful collection i can't i can't get over the prima collections they're always so beautiful um, i don't get to use them often in my projects but i just liked collecting them they are just so good to look at so the next thing that i bought are some of these iris paper packs these are 270 gsm and it's their own brand i think the craft zone brand so um, i got them in two sizes it's a 25 sheet pack so i got them in a4 and 12 by 12 both sizes the next place i shop from is the craft shop.in it is one of my favorite online stores and i love shopping from them the service is great the shipping is fabulous and the owner Priya is such a sweet gentle lady I just love her so I got the newly released lawn fawn stamps from there and I am again a big 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 lawn fawn fan and I have almost all their stamps so I couldn't let this go the pirates one is super cute and adorable and I also got uh, MFT stamps you won't believe it but this is my first ever MF these are my first ever MFT stamps and they are just so adorable so I got this pure nonsense uh, girl uh, I don't remember the name of it here but I will be listing down all the supplies and stores and everything in the description box below so make sure you check that out and I got this one this is my favorite favorite one not only is this book themed for book lovers it has some adorable images uh, great ideas for making scenes and the sentiments are just to die for so um, I think I'll be using this pretty soon in one of the videos absolutely love this and then another adorable stamp set is this bear one again I don't remember the exact name of it I will be listing it down in the description box below but it is just so cute just so adorable and of course the sentiments I think I'm a big big fan of MFT sentiments they come up with the most original most cute sentiments ever so this was all of my shopping done in May 2017 and I hope I'll see you again in June with my shopping haul 
So thank you for stopping by today and watching the video. And if you like watching my videos, don't forget to hit subscribe, share and like the video. And I will see you again next time. Bye bye.